Good morning, Park Hill. This is a quick video to help remind you how to set up your gradebook for this first semester and a couple of things that you're going to want to make sure that you do so that you don't find yourself having more work to do in the future. I'm going to go ahead and select my homeroom and to set up this gradebook because I've already set up my gradebook for my other courses. And so if you have not put in any grades at all, this is a good place to start. The first time you open up your gradebook, it's going to look relatively empty. You'll see posted here, this column, and then you won't see anything else to the right. If you start putting in grades and you're not seeing anything show up, you have not yet set up your grade calc options. So what you need to do is you need to go over to this chevron, these sideways arrows under the settings bar. When you click that, all of your settings are going to pop up. You need to go to grade calc options. When you open up grade calc options for the first time, this pop-up box will, will appear. Just hit continue in the corner. This new box is going to open up. You'll see where it says term grading tasks. Select show all. And then for fill calculation type, when you do it here, what's going to happen is it's going to automatically fill everything beneath it. And so don't worry about any of the stuff down below. Just where it says fill calculation top, uh, type. Select in progress grade. And then for grading scale, you essentially have two options. You can either choose default, or if you're choosing an AP class, um, it's not showing up, and my guess is that because this is a homeroom, it's not showing up. So select default. If you're teaching AP, there will be another option that says uh, AP course. So we'll select default. And then right here, if you want, you can select to weight your categories. If you always have homework worth a certain percentage and quizzes and tests worth a certain percentage, you can select weight categories. If you do not select this, then you are simply going off of a point-based system where one point equals one point regardless of where you place it. So after you've selected what you like, hit save. You will now notice if I collapse the settings, we have an in-progress uh, grade right next to it. So you're halfway there. Back to settings, you're going to see where it says categories. Even if you are not weighting your grades, you still have to set up at least one category because when you make an assignment, you have to designate which category it goes into. It's just like making a file folder. You're not going to put loose leaf pieces of paper in a file cabinet. There needs to be a folder in there first. So you'll select categories. Down here, click add. You'll name the category whatever you choose. If I could spell. If you want to put a weight here, you can. If you leave it at zero, uh, all points will be worth the same. You can see other options if you want to drop the lowest score, for example. And then these two gray bars, you'll select both of those. Term and also the grading task and hit save. Your categories are going to start to populate in this box. You can add more categories if you'd like. When you're all done with the categories, hit save. If we collapse the settings, you'll see your gradebook now looks a little different. You now have the posted grades, you have the progress grade, and you have the categories. If you don't see something here, you're not ready to start inputting grades. So make sure you have posted, progress, and categories all in place before you assign your first assignment. When you're assigning that first assignment, remember, it needs to go into quarter two. We've set it up to where that should be default, but it's not a bad idea to double check. Make sure you're putting grades into quarter two unless you are teaching an eight week, one quarter class. But for the vast majority of you, that needs to be quarter two. If you have posted in progress and categories, you see quarter two here, you're ready to add your first assignment. This add button right here is going to open up a new window. And this is where you put your assignment information. You can have whatever your assignment is, abbreviate it. You have a five character limit for the abbreviation. And this is what is going to be viewed by default. So use caution when creating your abbreviation. You can set your assignment date. You can set your due date. If you leave the sequence alone, it will automatically sequence your assignments by the due date. If you want to reorder, you can reorder that manually here. For template, uh, you can save certain assignments if you have an assignment that you give uh, multiple times. Teacher notes, uh, this would be anything that you would want to be able to remember in regard to your assignment. 
portal description will be viewable by students and parents. You can upload a file, which might be a worksheet or a syllabus. If you'd like the students to be able to submit their work, that's pretty advanced. You can, uh, you can select that here as well. Select where you want this to go. You want this to be in your uh, semester grade, however many points you want it to be. And if you want it to be a multiplier, so maybe you have a 25 point quiz, but you want it worth 100 points, you can put a multiplier in there and make it nice and easy for you. When you're all done, you can hit save or you can hit score if you're going to start manually entering uh, points right then. I'm just going to hit save, close out, and you'll notice I now have my first assignment right here and I'm ready to start inserting points. That's just to get you started. Hopefully that'll help, uh, help you out. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and good luck.